Hey everyone, Kyle once again, and welcome back to another movie review, and back to reviewing um, the Rush Hour movies, and now moving on to the sequel, um, Rush Hour 2, released in three, uh, 2001, three years after the first film. Uh, Jackie Chan, Brett, um, Chris Tucker coming back, same with director Brett Radner. Um, and the, when the film came out, even though critics weren't big on the on this sequel though, but the film was a big hit. It made it made more money than the first film. It made over three over three hundred million worldwide. It became like the the eleventh highest grossing film of two thousand one. And yeah, it was a film. It was a, it was a much bigger hit. It is the, it's the highest grossing one in the franchise. And Rush Hour Two, I really did enjoy. I uh, I do like by a fraction enjoy a little bit more of the first one, just by like a fraction. But still fun sequel like the first film is first one was a classic i really i love the first rush hour film me and my brother love the, the first rush hour film See, the sequel i had as much fun as well rush hour 2 is still a very fun sequel and still enjoyable still uh, has the action in it and the humor as well and like i said the film works like i said these film these films work because of the chemistry between jackie chan and chris tucker this is what makes the film work, and they still have the, they still have that great chemistry with each other, like like they did in the first film. And this time, instead in America, they go into um well towards the other film it's America, but for most of the movie it was set in uh, Hong Kong. For a good portion of it, which is a nice setting, you know, change of pace is a setting. It's in it, where they go to vacation in Hong Kong, which is quite funny though that um. Well, by the end of the, we recall at the end of the first movie that uh, they're gonna they were gonna go on vacation to Hong Kong, but here it's like th it's three years later though, and again yeah, it like the first film like Chris Tucker he had like the goatee here he doesn't though so I don't think it's I think like well it's supposed to think of that with that this is it takes place after the first movie but like I said. It's three years later, though. They look a tad bit older, though, but it's like... Or we're supposed to figure out that this is actually out of the first movie because they're going to Hong Kong, but... It has to be like something like how they must have been to Hong Kong like a, a second like a second or third time, you know? Well... But maybe say, like, you know, because, um... You know, Chris Tucker, like, he's, like, learning all this stuff about... Learning, like, all this stuff about Chinese stuff, right? And... So it makes a little bit of a kind of a little distortion right there. I mean, it's a nitpick though, but I'm not making a big deal about it. It's just like it's a little something that's a little bit uh, distorted on that part though. But regardless though, um, as the film go uh, goes, um, they're in Hong Kong now, and it's supposed to be on vacation. But Jackie Jenny's still on this case because there was an explosion at the American embassy, and two Americans were killed in this explosion. So he's on the case, even though they're supposed to be on vacation, and which you they get into like this bar and Chris Tucker, he's like doing Michael Jackson stuff, and he's trying to learn to speak Chinese, but he ends up saying the saying the wrong words in Chinese, where the crowd is like, you know, taking like a little offense to it, you know, and and Jack Chan has to explain it to Chris Tucker, so so you get like so so the fun fun humor right there. And then they lead to one of the two other bad guys, which is uh, played by uh, Zhang Ziyi. Which, I think I said that, that her name right, because I think I said the last time I kind of butchered that name up. But uh, Zhang Ziyi, which she was in, um, yeah, I think she was, she, I think was she in, uh, what was it, the Chinese movie, I forget though. I forget what that, the Chinese movie that she was in though, but she would later, years later... Post right there, she would later appear in um, uh, Godzilla: King of the Monsters. She plays as like both as the twins, you know. You know, hinting that hinting like uh, like the um, like the fairies, right? The, which I explained that movie to you, but uh, she was in that. But she's come back in Kong uh, Godzilla versus Kong though. But she was not in the trailer for that though. But yeah, Zhang Zi, she was in Godzilla: King of the Monsters. I know she's I know she's been in other movies as well, but um. She's one of the bad guys in this. Uh, so they, they chase, they, they, get, they, get, they give chase, and um, they climb up the uh, up this bamboo structure, and um, one of those, they both fall down, and Chris is like, oh, I can't believe I flew 10,000 miles for this shit. And then 
Jerry Chan has to explain to Chris Tucker what they're doing. So they go they go to this massage parlor and and Chris Tucker's all excited because you see all the all these lovely ladies, you know, and because Chris Tucker's like, oh my god, this place is off the hook. I love Hong Kong. But anyway, um, and then it'll, and then uh, like I said, the action where during this whole massage parlor, well, 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 um, well shot, and I showed what was going on, um, because uh, they, because they were looking for a guy named by the name of Ricky Tan, played by John Lone, which I remember, which. Was he in Crush the Tiger, Hidden Dragon? I think it was. But he was also in, um... Remember, I remember some Mar- 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 playing in The Shadow. He was the guy that built... He was the bad guy who was like, the descendant of King of Genghis Kong. So yeah, I remember him from The Shadow with Alec Baldwin. He plays Ricky Tan, who always uh, used to be Jackie Chan... In this, he used to also used to be Jackie Chan's father. Uh, his, his father's partner. Um... And like I said, I enjoy the whole massage parlor, and once the whole once the whole uh, fight starts, and Chris Tucker actually hits Jackie Chan, it's like got her. And it's like, oh, y'all look alike. <laughs> um, and it's like with the garbage can, and then uh, doing a Chris Tucker flipping Jackie Chan, and what was well edited fights. So I enjoy I enjoyed that, and then down the words, they get thrown, they get caught, and they get thrown out na- bare butt naked out in the middle of the traffic, and they have to. But this scene right here, where they have to run and get back to the headquarters and cover it up, trying to cover themselves. <laughs> and so Chris, um, there's an explosion at the at the place because by uh, Zhang Zi, and uh, which Jackie Chan thought Chris Tucker was in there, he died. And then you have a little moment where he's really sad and he's like, "All he ever wanted was some mushu." <laughs> so yeah, like, he gets a little sad moment. Then when he gets into the car, he's listening to. Um, you take my breath away by Puff Daddy. He's doing a little bit of the not ahead like what they did in the first movie. So that was nice to that was a nice touch. And then going to this onto this boat, where he meets with a guy named Stephen Rain, played by uh, Alan King. Um. And then with with once again with Ricky Tan, but the thing is he shoots him, which later it's all was part it was all part of the plan. And then but before that, to get another good piece of humor where. Uh, Jackie Chan tells us one guy's like he uh, there was an explosion uh, a session and a de- detective died and and Chris Tucker's like who died Lee he's like Connor who died you detective you no you who do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth <laughs> like what Chris Tucker told him in the first movie oh, it was nice so and then Willie said another word they go back to the two uh, Los Angeles where they spy this girl played by um um. Rosalind Sanchez, who was actually working undercover as a Secret Service agent, but when they're spying on her, Jackie Chan's looking through and he sees her undressing. And he's like, he's really, like, really, oh, oh. And he's like, oh, slow down, baby. <laughs> and when Chris is like, she's getting undressed, and he's like, no, oh, it's not right. And I was like, yeah, right, Jackie Chan, yeah. So, and then like, the, the the whole thing is is regarding about counterfeit money. That's what the main main plot is but counterfeit money of millions of dollars with these with these plates to, to make the money with and um and the girl is the character uh, uh sanchez plays isabella so she's, she's working undercover with the bad guys so later when they go to this hotel they talk with this one guy which actually i recognize um what was his name uh ernie was it ernie reyes jr I see him in other movies, like when I was in Surf Ninjas, and I think he was also in the, the second Ninja Turtles movie, I think too. Yeah, but he's but I see him in other things too. But he was basically in a nothing role. All you see, he runs away, makes the Jackie Chan and Chris Tucker get caught, and that's basically it, though. So that sucks, though. But yeah, and then they get put on they get put on a truck. Then the statues are full with with the real money that's in it. And then they end up in Las Vegas, which is another nice setting in Las Vegas. And where they they at that they have this, this casino called the Red Dragon, and before that they had to you know get uh, suited real nice. So they go to this place where they talk to Jeremy Piven, which another guy I recognize. He's been in other stuff as well, but he's a guy. Which this is the scene I didn't care I didn't care for with Jeremy Piven because well because his character he's a guy who runs in this, is in the, who works in the store, but he's like you know talking feminine and all that. And he's like. You know, oh, because he, he thinks they're he thinks they're a couple, right? And um, it's like, oh, I think you need to put a nice fur, uh, dead animal on you, looking, 
you know, nice and all that stuff. So, I get the whole thing, though, but I just didn't think that was funny with him in it. And, but, yeah, business is another nitpick, but I think they just could have been cut out. So then, uh, Chris Tucker, he's going to make it be a distraction, so J- Jackie Chan go see about, the, about those plates or whatever. And he goes to this crafts table, and... Which is another guy I recognize, the guy who was running this craps table, which I forget the guy's name, but uh, it was a show my dad watched, and that was um, Warehouse 13. He's the guy who like basically run the Warehouse 13 for those two ages to be in there. So yeah, uh, my dad would recognize that guy, though. So he's running this craps table, and then and then he's like, um, he wants to, uh, he want, he, Chris Tucker wants to play, right? And uh, of course there's this thing where, nowadays, the PC thing, where people will think, oh, that's so offensive. I'm like, relax, take a chill pill because this is meant to be funny. It's only it's only just humor that's meant to play, to be funny. Because it's like he wants five hundred, he gets to give him five hundred dollar chips. It's like, what is this? You give me five hundred dollar chips because I'm black? Is that what you give? You give me my black because you give me five hundred dollar chips? It's meant like I said, it's. I thought it was it was. I thought it was not intentional to be uh, the uh, intentional way, but I still think it played play off as a funny way. So there's no reason people will think, oh, get to a fence. I'm like, relax. Don't get your panties in a bunch. It's meant to be funny. It's, it's just the humor in this. And especially with how Chris Tucker plays it off, it makes it funny. So that's the thing. So it's just like, whew, just calm down a bit. It's only meant, like I said, how I said how regarding about the, some of the stuff in the first movie, it's meant to be funny. It's it's just a joke. So, but yeah, I still think that's, I, it's meant, I thought that was funny. So it needs to like, be in the distraction Getting really good at the craps table when Jackie Chan gets caught, he gets put a bomb in his mouth, and go by the John Lone, he's the real mastermind behind the whole thing. And then, um, then uh, 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 uh Rosalie and Sanchez gets the fight with uh, Zhang Zihi, and um, then, then eventually Jackie Chan gets the bomb out of his mouth, get the nice, a nice explosion when the bomb blows up. <laughs> And then Chris Tucker gets this decent fight with Zhang Ziyi, you know. And then when she knocks her out and gets, because he gets, I thought he was like a stab, but he gets saved by a bunch of water, a hundred dollar bills. Like, oh, thank you, Benjamin. And he's just like, you know, we could have been a good couple. We could have something special, but you're one crazy ass bitch. <laughs> and then John Lowe goes and stabs uh, Alan King. And then uh, Jake Jen has my gun points. Then. And then Chris Tucker's like, oh, hey, hey, Ricky. And so then I, uh, I think Lee got under the control. And he goes like, ah, god damn. What happened to Rain? And then Ricky Tan, um, John Lewis starts talking about Jackie's father. And then Chris Tucker's like, okay, wait, he didn't, he, he didn't need to go that far. All right, it's not worth killing him. But then he goes like, okay, he crossed the line. Go ahead and shoot him. Shoot him. If you're not going to shoot him, come fool his ass, you know? And then Jackie Chan kicks John Lone out the window, which is a really nice uh, stunt work where he's the the is the body's falling out of the wit out of the building and lands on a car. Nice stunt work. And then Zhang Z has a bomb and they both jump out of the window, they slide down, and he's like, crazy ass. <laughs> and then there's a truck coming, and then Jackie pushes Chris Tucker out of the way, they're like, Jackie Chan's running on one side of the truck, and Chris Tucker's just bumping on against it. Then they had to lie on the ground from Roy to get over, getting run over, and then Jackie Chan says the same, the same says the same thing that Chris Tucker said at the beginning. He's like, "I can't believe I flew two thousand miles, ten thousand miles for this shit." <laughs> and so the back of the airport, and which is Jackie Chan says says goodbye to uh, um, Isabella, which uh, yeah, gave her she gave her a little smack on the you know and. Chris Tucker's like, he saw us like, oh, you mad dog? She kissed me, didn't she? <laughs> and then they said they get up another, uh, use another va- good vacation. And then it ends with, a, my, they're dancing another Michael Jackson, so- uh, Michael Jackson song. You know, the whole song, don't stop till you get enough. Don't stop till you get enough. Yeah. See, Rush Hour 2 is, uh, once it, I, I enjoyed the, I enjoyed this one just a, a tad bit more, but it, but it was still fun sequel very fun sequel i enjoyed it the first time i enjoyed it as a classic so i would put this as two as a really fun enjoyable sequel i do like i said by a fraction i enjoyed it just a bit more in the first film because i got a lot more fun out of it 
not saying not saying that the first movie was fun. I loved the first Doctor Rush Art film. It was a classic, like I said. But I got a lot of fun with for the more of the humor and then um, with some of the well the action as well and uh, yeah. Brett Ryder did decent did once again a uh, very decent job as directing the score by um, once again uh, Lalos Schifrin came back to do the score like he did for the first film. Um, the cast, like I said, Jackie Chan, and Chris Tucker, they still work really well together. The chemistry that they have is still fun. They have with each other. John Lone, I thought he was a decent, very uh, uh, decent villain. Same with Zang 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 Um Alan King, Rosa uh, Rosalian uh, Sanchez. Um, like I said, with Jerry Piven, I could just could have cut that out though. And then what was the other guy like Ernie Rice Jr. had a little nothing role, sadly though. Suck though, but still. But um. Like I said, though, the humor I thought was funny. Like the, who? Who? Do you understand what the words are coming out of my mouth? <laughs> or it was like, Cotter, all oh, y'all look alike. <laughs> or when Jackie Chan's looking at it, it's like, oh, man, slow down, baby. Like I said, the humor I thought was uh, funnier. Oh, and I forgot to mention, really quick, I forgot to mention, Don Cheadle is in this. I forgot to, yeah, I forgot to mention that because they went, uh, was they go back to L.A., they talk with John with Don Cheadle owns a Chinese restaurant. Gets a little, gets a little fisticuff with Jackie Chan, you know, and he he still speak a little decent Chinese, and he jokes with Jackie Chan talking about Chris Tucker's like, oh, he's a Seven Eleven because his mouth never closes. So, yeah, I forgot to mention Don Cheadle was in this as well. So, so it was nice, it was nice, it was nice to see him as well. I thought he did decent as well. Like, oh, I can hear him speak a little Chinese as well. That's nice. So, yeah, Rush Hour Two. Fun sequel. I really enjoyed it. Very fun. Like I said, from here, from the ABC Radio, hilarious. Better than the first one. Which I would say, yeah, I do like it a tad bit better than the first one. And back up back here from Good Morning America, nothing but fun. Which I would say, yeah. Even the same thing with from Rolling Stone, faster and funnier than the first. And yeah, um, yeah, Zang Z, Zang Z, she was in the Crouching Tower, Hidden Dragon. And then John Lowe, he was in The Last Emperor. That's what it was. Yeah. But yeah, I really enjoyed Rush Hour 2. Really fun sequel. I enjoyed it. So yeah, Rush Hour 2, definitely worth it. De definitely a f fun. And I said a tad bit better than the first one. Love it. And once again, Jackie Chan and Chris Tucker, they work well, really well together. So yeah, so that's my second review. That. Then, stay tuned for me reviewing the third one. Sadly, it's a little, I would say, is ta a bit a bit. Well, I was like disappointed of the sequel, like underwhelmed, I would say. Sadly to say, but yeah, that's that, that was gonna be a rant, not a big rant, but it's still gonna be a a, a rant though. Sadly, but because number three, I thought was just, this was disappointing. So, but stay tuned for Rush Hour three, and then we'll see you and see you later.